Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Josh and in today's video we'll be going over two different crypto exchanges to figure out which one is best. The first one is Easy Crypto and the second one is Independent Reserve. So for each of these platforms I'll be giving you a brief introduction as well as talking about the range of coins available and the safety of the platform. Secondly we'll go over the fees and spread and lastly we'll talk about liquidity. Liquidity basically is the volume available on the platform that is to say if you want to sell out a big chunk of your cryptocurrency or if you want to buy a big chunk of your cryptocurrency how does that impact the pricing available so we'll be going over those three things as always i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research before signing up with these platforms see the full disclaimer down below but without further ado let's get right into the video so here is Easy Crypto's website. So just a little bit about Easy Crypto. So it says that the mission is to make cryptocurrency accessible and understandable so that everyone can get involved in the crypto market. So on their website, they say that crypto will be sent to your wallet within minutes. So let's quickly have a test. I will now buy um, the minimum amount of Bitcoin that I can buy on this platform just to see how quickly that it will be sent. So I go here on instant buy and sell. And if I try to buy $1, they'll say no, because minimum amount is $40. So let's buy $40 worth of Bitcoin. So I've got my Bitcoin address here from the Exodus wallet. And so now you can pay with your bank deposit. So obviously I want to get it instantly. So I will use Poly. My order has been placed and is currently processing. Okay, so the time now is... 610 on the 21st of November so let's see how quickly that would arrive and here it is so here is the Bitcoin that has come in the Bitcoin has finally arrived uh, roughly 10 minutes ago so that was at 6 26 p.m. so it took roughly 15 minutes for it to come in which is relatively quick one thing important to note about Easy Crypto is that Easy Crypto is actually a crypto retailer. It's not an exchange where you buy and sell with other people. It's a retailer. That means when you're buying and selling on Easy Crypto, you're actually buying and selling against Easy Crypto. And what that means as well is that when you're buying crypto from Easy Crypto, they actually send the crypto directly into your wallet. Let me just show you quickly what I mean by that. If you go into instant buy and say you want to buy $100, they'll ask you for your Bitcoin address. So in that sense, the coins doesn't get stored on the exchange, which increases the safety um, because, you know, crypto exchanges uh, can and do get hacked. This is a level of increased safety compared to other exchanges. So it is safe and it is quick. In terms of the variety as well, they do have over 104 coins that you can buy using your New Zealand dollars. So moving on to independent reserve, independent reserve is a Australian crypto exchange. So they're not a uh, retail platform, but they're an exchange. So when you're buying and selling on independent reserve, you are essentially buying and selling with other people on the platform. So they are used by over 150,000 customers. And they've also been um, seven plus years in the business as well. So they are really established as an exchange. And since they launched in uh, 2013, they haven't experienced any hacks so far. So they do appear to have a good track record in terms of safety. In terms of variety as well, there's around 24 different coins that you can buy here or cryptocurrencies that you can buy here. So there is quite a wide range as well, but obviously not as much as easy crypto. But the main ones, you know, Bitcoin and your Ethereum are here. So that is Independent Reserve, a really quick introduction. So now let's get right into the fees and the spread. So here's a spreadsheet that I got which summarizes all the fees that I could find on their website. So the thing about Easy Crypto is that because they're a retailer, they include all the fees in the price and that price will be represented in the spread, which I'll talk about next. But at the moment, they don't split out the different fees involved because obviously all of it's included in the price. What you see is what you get. So I've just put NA here. But for independent reserve, they do split it out. So it's easier for us to see um, what type of fees they charge. 
So they do charge a 0.5% commission on all trades where your total volume is below 100,000 AUD. But if you go over that $100,000, then the percentage actually drops, the commissions drop to a lower level. But for the purposes of this video, let's just look at the 0.5% commission. In terms of deposit fees, uh, they do charge a 15 New Zealand dollar fee if you deposit less than 5,000 New Zealand dollars into your account. Anything more than $5,000 will be zero, so they'll waive that fee. If you do have an Australian account, when you deposit less than 100 Aussie dollars, you are charged only 99 cents of AUD and over $100 of deposits, you do get the fee waived as well. Um, if you're withdrawing Bitcoin, you do have to pay 0 0.0003 fee which is roughly around eight dollars at the current bitcoin price when you're withdrawing new zealand dollars you do have to pay a 20 dollar fee but aussie dollars is free so obviously it is more beneficial if you're dealing in aussie dollars because independent reserve is an aussie exchange next up let's take a look at the spread so here i took the buy sell of both platforms on three different dates so on the 12th of november on the 20th of november and on the 21st of november and um, I essentially took it at the same time. So for easy crypto, you can see that the buy sell is much wider. So that is calculated as the difference between these two numbers. And um, you can see that the difference here is much wider than independent reserves spread. So taking the latest price based on today's prices, um, if you're buying Bitcoin on easy crypto, you will have to pay $27,522 for one Bitcoin. Obviously, you can buy partial Bitcoins. You don't have to buy one exact unit. You can buy 0 0.01 or 0 0.001. On independent reserve, it's 26,888. So it's cheaper to buy Bitcoin on independent reserve based on the buy sell. On the sell side, if you're trying to sell Bitcoin on easy crypto, you'll get 26,000. $434, but on independent reserve, you'll get 26,681. So you're getting more when you sell on independent reserve compared to easy crypto. As you can see here, the fees and the spread are a lot different for these two because easy crypto includes all their fees within the spread, whereas independent reserve um, has fees, but a tighter spread. So what I did was I included two examples where I performed a analysis on what would happen if you bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin and another example when you buy $5,000 worth of Bitcoin. So here is the example. Looking at $1,000 first, on easy crypto, you will get $1,000 and say you buy Bitcoin $1,000 worth of Bitcoin, you withdraw it to your wallet, which is free because it gets sent directly to your wallet anyway. And you deposit Bitcoin when you want to sell the Bitcoin, but that is free as well. Um, and you are charged the sell spread and this is based off the 21st of November spread and then you withdraw the cash so you end up with $960 whereas on independent reserve you're charged a $15 fee if you deposit less than $5,000 so on $1,000 you will get charged a $15 fee based on the buy price on the 21st of November you'll get 0 0.03645 Bitcoin which is more than what you would get on easy crypto because of the different buy prices and then when you're withdrawing Bitcoin as well you do get less because they do charge you a withdrawal fee and say you then want to deposit your Bitcoin back into the exchange you will sell it for $959.69 New Zealand dollars and when you withdraw it you are charged another $20 fee so you end up with $939.69, which is less than Easy Crypto. So in this case, Easy Crypto wins. But on the other hand, if you deposit $5,000, you are not charged a $15 fee for depositing. And going through the same process, you end up with a higher cash balance on independent reserve compared to Easy Crypto. Obviously, it will meet somewhere in the middle where it won't be 5,000, that would be break even point, it'll be lower than that. And the magic number is roughly $2,000. So if I change the equation here, it's pretty much break even. So in other words, if you are buying less than $2,000 worth of cryptos, easy crypto might be the best um, platform for you. But on the other hand, if you're buying more than $2,000 worth of Bitcoin, then independent reserve might be a better option. Now, obviously, this whole dynamic changes. If you do have an Aussie bank account, then you won't be charged that $15 fee, which would make independent reserve a lot more attractive. 
So next up, let's take a look at the liquidity aspect of things. So on independent reserve, what you do is you go into Bitcoin and you can scroll down and here you have your buyers and your sellers. Essentially, if you're buying Bitcoin, this is the price that you'll pay. You'll pay $27,095. And at the moment, there is a seller selling 0.7 units of Bitcoin which is roughly around $20,000. So that is quite a reasonable amount if you're looking to buy Bitcoin. You know, if you're buying a few thousand dollars, then you will not have any slippage, meaning that you won't have to pay the next available, best available price because you bought essentially all of the units at this price. So what you see is pretty much what you get. And on the buy side, you have a buyer here queuing up wanting to buy two Bitcoins at $26,835. So if you want to sell less than $52,000 worth of Bitcoin, then you won't get any slippage. So independent reserve does look like it does have good liquidity and um, the spreads are better compared to easy crypto as well. So on easy crypto side, on the other hand, because they are a retailer, they don't actually have an order book. So let's just test out to see, you know, what would happen if we try to order bigger amounts of Bitcoin, whether that impacts the rate or not. So in order to do that, I'll just test buying $100 worth of Bitcoin. If you click on rate info, it says here that the Bitcoin rate is 27,630. But if we buy $1,000, it still says 27,630. If we buy $10,000 worth, it'll still be the same. So in terms of easy crypto, it does look like there isn't any slippage because they do mention what rate that you're gonna get. It doesn't look like it's being impacted based on the value or amount that you want to buy or sell. So overall, I think both these platforms have their own strength. For easy crypto, they really are quick. And also it is a great way to buy in at small amounts because there isn't a deposit or withdrawal fee. You can do that over time through their auto buy in, which basically helps you dollar cost average into the platform. However, if you're looking to buy or sell higher amounts over 2000, or if you're looking to trade more frequently, then I would look into independent reserve more because they do offer lower spreads, which means that if you trade more frequently, you'll be saving more money as compared to easy crypto. They do have an auto trade function as well, which can help you dollar cost average. But bear in mind that there is that deposit fee when you're depositing less than 5,000 New Zealand dollars. However, the whole dynamic changes when you do have an Australian bank account, which makes independent reserve a lot more attractive in the sense that the deposit fee is a lot lower and there is no withdrawal fee as well. So those are your options to consider. Now remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I cannot give a recommendation into which one is best for you because I don't know your personal situation. But in any case, I do have a referral link for both of these two platforms. So be sure to check it out. When you do use the referral links, I will get a small kickback from each of these platforms. So that will greatly help me continue making content on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.